Saludos and thank you for coming to a little reading of uh, The Abuelita. It's from my first book, uh, The Last Tortilla and Other Stories. Uh, the Abuelita is really the first story I ever wrote and I wrote it um, really in homage to my abuelita Dolores Rivero who used to live in El Segundo Barrio in El Paso and uh, I wanted people not to forget my abuelita uh, who is very important to me and the picture you see at the beginning of the video is her with my grandfather Don Jose Rivero. Anyway, uh, here we go. Un cafecito before we start? I didn't think so. So let's, let's uh, start reading the story. The cool air of the evening brought back the vivid life of the morning. Soaking his callous feet in salty hot water, Jose was in the kitchen. His limpy and dusty trousers unrolled into the steamy water while his bald head reclined against the wall. His rigidly concave back almost pushed him onto the floor. He was sitting on a kitchen chair and resting. His eyes were closed. Pobrecito, she thought. The poor man is tired. She looked at him for a moment and quietly shuffled to the bathroom, where she was scrubbing his foamy work pants on an aluminum washboard. I hope you already ate dinner and washed the dishes, because the news will be on soon. Jose! Jose! She yelled from her supplicating position in front of the tub. Levántate y prende las noticias. No te quedes dormido en la silla como un perro. Get up and turn on the television. You can sleep after the news. Jose grumbled something about the need to pace yourself, yet rose to his feet to finish the dishes. His soggy trousers left a trail of water droplets across the kitchen floor. The telephone rang and Lolita answered it in the bedroom. Hello, she said. Abuelita loca, screamed the man's voice. How are you and El Tigre? Have you been good, senora? I miss both of you. Arturo, she responded with a sigh. Why haven't you called? I was worried about you. How do we know you are okay when you don't answer the phone? We called you about two days ago and nobody answered. Ay, senora, he said enthusiastically, I've been working almost as much as El Tigre works under the hot sun. Instead of pulling weeds, I've been sitting in the library reading and writing. I was probably in the library when you called. Usually I stay there until it closes at midnight. I'm the nocturnal duende who explores the darkness, you know. But don't worry about me, abuela. I'm fine. I'm just tired of studying so much. Actually, the solitary Arturo was fighting off desperation. The mixture of an intense academic burden at Yale with his longing for the simplicity of life at home caused him to almost suffocate some nights when matter seemed to torment even his quietest moments. Add to that his insistence on studying philosophy and this use of this critique as a relentless self-destruction of beliefs and the world of Arturo fluctuated violently. He used his uneasy self, like a bustling laboratory, to foment and experience new ideas. But periodically, the experience went awry, beyond his own nature, and his world rocked dangerously on the edge of an abyss. Where is the tiger? asked Arturo, the pace of his bouncing right leg even quicker than before. Aquí estoy! Jose said firmly, your abuelita is in the bedroom and I have the kitchen phone. How are my parents and the rest of the family? Arturo asked, after a short silence. Everybody's fine. Your mother and father were here two days ago. They were going to the movies in Juarez. They're always out having fun and enjoying themselves. I hope they don't neglect your brother. Don't worry about Rudy. He can take care of himself. I'm also well, but I'm tired and I miss being at home. Sometimes I feel so lonely I can't read another page. They give us so much work here. Sometimes I want to give up on everything. Arturo said, his head on his cool wood of the, his writing desk. He needed to hear their voices to keep calm. By appreciating the worth in their lives, Arturo indirectly searched for and found self-respect. To care was to see the fragility of this ephemeral world 
where man sacrificed himself in order to possess the good life. When he called his abuelitos, Arturo felt needed, and they felt needed too. Well, if you don't like it there, get out, Lolita said. Just get out. Didn't you finish school already? Didn't you tell me that? What are you doing there anyway? Yes, senora, but this is for another degree. I want to improve myself and I want to learn more things so I'll be an educated person. Arturo explained simply so that his grandparents understood why he was still in school at the age of 25. Remember what you told me, el que adelante no ve, atrás se queda. He who does not look forward is left behind. That's right, but why are you killing yourself with all that work? Why do you want to read all the time? You're going to drive yourself crazy. I'm studying because I have important ideas. My schooling is important to me and I must do it. Arturo said in a loud, nearly shrill tone. When he studied furiously, he was isolated from the world and he called them to claw at his loneliness. I'm studying some German philosophers. One of them is called Heidegger. That's Heidegger. He repeated clearly so that they could understand his name. Who is this Heidegger? Lolita asked. Aren't these Germans hated by many countries? Are they not a bad people? Why are you studying them? No, Abuelita, not all Germans are gente mala. They're often very intelligent. This Heidegger writes about death and about how it should be important to people during life. What do you think of that? Ese viejo está loco. That man is a lunatic. How can death be important during your life when you have so many reason, reasons to live? If you continue reading these philosophers, you're going to be as crazy as they are. That idiot Heiger probably never had a happy day in his life. Look, my son, she continued, drop those books and go outside for a walk or go out with some of your friends. Stop studying too much and don't be a crazy hermit. Remember what I told you, el que adelante no ve atrás se queda. You know what that means? It means you should stop worrying and waiting for death and let the Germans worry about that. Find contentment and happiness in your life before you realize that your time to live is almost over. Use each day to make yourself and others happy. And then you'll never have regrets in your life. I'm an old woman now. But I will only stop when the good Lord brings me down with his own two hands. Gracias, abuelita. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. I just felt lonely and depressed. But I feel better now. Arturo, you are only beginning to live. You're young. Enjoy the rest of your life and don't waste time by studying all the time. The only things you'll get from plunging into your books are depression, blindness, and insanity. Have faith in God and He will show you what is life. I will pray for you on Sunday and I'll ask God to help you when you are lonely and afraid. I'll also ask Lupita to pray for you. She's an angel of mercy, said Lolita. Go out and have a beer or go to a party, Jose interrupted, his tight skin yielding to a grin. Don't pay attention to that drunken old fool. How can you tell him to do that? That may be the answer for an old man like you, like you. Go ahead and get yourself drunk. I'll leave you out there in the streets with the stray dogs. And if I don't punish you first, the good Lord will surely toss you into the dark pit with that horned one. Don't pay attention to him, Arturo, she said. Ay, senora, you take everything I say the wrong way, Jose said. Please don't fight. I didn't call to listen to a fight. I have to go now, and I have a lot of work, and I don't want to stay up too late, Arturo said. Okay, but remember what I told you. Don't drive yourself crazy. Relax and enjoy yourself, she said, and call us again whenever you can. I'll tell your parent that you are well. Do you want me to send you some more hot chocolate packets and homemade cookies? I'll wrap them up, and I'll tell your brother to put them in the mail, and Arturo Please don't suffer all the time. That's no way to live. Thank you, senora. Don't worry about me. I'll survive. I miss la familia. Please say hello to everyone. Goodbye, tigre. Don't let the abuelita get the best of you. 
You know how she is. Hasta luego. We'll talk again soon. Thank you for listening.